Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to add fractions. All right. Now I know it looks difficult, right? It looks a little scary, but it's going to be okay because the goat's here, right? So the first thing we got to do is we're going to find the least common denominator. Okay. So we're going to take our denominators and we're going to find out what's the least thing in common with them, right? All right. So let's do this. We're going to take our four and we're going to take our three. We're going to put the four here. I'll put the three here. All right. All right. Okay, so now we're just going to put out the multiples, right? So we're going to put the multiples for 4 and multiples for 3, all right? We're going to find a number that's the same, and we're going to run with it, right? Then we're going to run with it, all right? Let's do it, okay? So how we do the multiples, okay? We do 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. All right, so we're going to stop at the 5, right? So we'll do five for the first one, we'll do five for the second one, right? If nothing matches up, we'll just keep going. All right, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Let's stop right there and see if we get lucky. All right, here we go. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. All right, so we're gonna stop there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and take a look. Does anything look the same? Is anything the same? Let's see. What do you think? I think I see something. I think I see something go. I see a 12 up here, and I see a 12 down here. Boom. Okay, so that's the first major thing we're gonna do. All right, so let's take a look at the multiples now. How do we get the four to the 12, right? What do we times it by? All right, this is four times one. This is four times two. This is four times three. All right, so this is times three. And then we're gonna look at the bottom one, right? Let's look at three. How do we get to the 12? Let's look. Three times one. Three times two. Three times three. Three times four. Okay? So we're going to do times four. All right? And remember, you do something to the bottom, you got to do it to the top. All right? So this is going to be here. It's going to be times three. And this one over here is going to be times four. All right? That's the first thing we have to do. All right. So now we have our least common denominator. We can go ahead and put this problem to bed. You know what I'm saying? It's time to put it to bed. All right. So let's look at this first one, right? We got three times three. All right, three times three is nine. Okay, and now we already know, because we already did it, we already did it. We know four times three is 12. Boom, okay. So now we're just gonna bring that plus sign down, okay, and we're with the next one. So all we have to do now is one times four. One times four, obviously go is four, okay? Boom, okay, let's look at the bottom now. We already know, again, we just did it. We know this, all right? Three times four is 12, boom. Now we have to do is just finish it off, right? We're just going to finish it off. All right, we got 9 plus 4. Everybody knows. Everyone in the world knows. 9 plus 4 is 13. Boom. 13 and 12. And that's a wrap, right? You just did it. You just did it and I'm proud of you. All right. So you got 13 over 12 as your answer, and now you just keep hearing this over and over again, right? You keep hearing, dude, that's improper, right? Yo, go. that's improper. You can't have that. You want to turn that to a mixed number, right? What? Are you kidding? I just did all that thing. I'm done. I'm done. Now, listen, it's okay, all right? The goatee to help, we're going to get you through, all right? So all we're going to do is we're going to turn this improper fraction into a mixed number, okay? To do that, first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to push that 13 right off, right? We're going to left hook, knock it over, okay? So we're going to look like this, right? And it's going to say 13 divided by 12. Okay, so how many times can 12 go into 13? Right, well, that's simple, right? They're so close together, it can only be once, okay? So boom, the one goes up here, all right? So now you got 12 times one, all right? 12 times one is 12, boom, that goes right there, all right? So now we have 13 minus 12, all right? You don't even need a calculator for that, right? You got this, right? That's one, boom. There's your remainder, okay? So now you got a remainder of one. You put the remainder right there. Looks nice, right? It looks real nice. All right, so now I'm going to show you what you do with these numbers. All right, real quick, on top, right? This guy right here, that's your all-star, okay? That's your big number, all right? So that's going to go right here, okay? Now you're going to take that remainder, right? You're going to take that remainder right here, and that is going to be your top number or your numerator, okay? There's your numerator, boom. Now for the denominator, we're going to kick it old school, right? We're going to take it back to the beginning, right? We're going back to the future, you know what I'm saying? We're going this guy right here. The big 12, right? 
Big 12. Boom. Let's go right there. Boom. One and one over 12 is your answer. Right? Wasn't so bad. So one more thing to do. All you have to do now, you got a little bit of homework, right? All you got to do is you got to hit that like and you got to hit that subscribe so I can see you next time on the Go Teachers Mad. Peace.